can like uh, handle the uh, uh, the automations on the ETL tools for uh, trade automations and all. So if you don't mind, could you please uh, just walk through the resume with like your current uh, mainly on like current activities, what you are handling and the uh, expertise on what type of uh, automations and all you have worked on. Yeah, uh, yes, Pawan, sure. Uh, thank you, uh, Pawan, for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, as you said, I am Lenka Someshwar Rao. Uh, I am from Vishakhapatnam. Uh, I am a B.Tech graduate. I had an experience of 4.3 uh, years into Informatica. Uh, currently, I am I'm working in Cognizant as an ETL developer. Uh, prior to that, I worked in Concentrix on same technology. And uh, including Informatica, I can handle Power BI and uh, basic web designing like uh, like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I know. And and coming to my project, my project current project is related to US healthcare data warehouse, and the client is uh, Primera Blue Cross. And in this project, we got the sources in the form of tables and files. We have to load the data from source to staging area by implementing incremental loading and mapping variables. And from staging area to uh, dimension tables, we have to load the data uh, by by implementing SED type one and SED type two uh, as per the business requirement. And from dimension table to fact table, we have to load the data. Uh, uh, by implementing uh, various lookup transformations and by the reference uh, surrogate key reference and yeah uh, in this project we got the requirements in the form of uh, brs and crs like business request and change requests as per the business request and change request i implemented the mappings yeah like uh, this is about my project and if any project uh, daily we have stand up calls uh, like uh, have the scrum master will assign the uh, work through jira tool and after that stand up call i have to went into work to design the mappings uh, by starting off the project i have to uh, discuss with the data modeler uh, that business analyst is there uh, for better understanding of the requirements once the requirements was uh, clearly understood then we are designing the mappings uh, once the mapping design was completed we have to uh, design was completed as per the business logic we have to perform the unit test uh, once unit test was completed we have to migrate the code deploy the code from user folder to project folder and uh, have to parameterize the, all the connections and put the values in the parameter files and we have to give all these connection details to uh, testing team sit team is there uh, service integration testing team is there um, once uh, service integration test was passed uh, and they send all those uh, connection details to uat team user acceptance user acceptance testing team is there uh, testing it will subject to uat test that was conducted by client side if they found any defects uh, they will revert back uh, again we have to uh, rectify the defects and then again we have to perform all these unit and sit test and again we have to uh, give give all the details to that manager uh, this is what uh, complete uh, what i am doing like okay great thanks for uh, giving the brief explanation about this uh, uh, see like uh, on your resume you mentioned about like uh, on worked on the sql uh, as well so yeah. how good you are with the sql like uh, so you like kind of the queries on daily basis you write or like it's depending on the project like uh, yeah, actually, depending on the project, as per the business logics, if any required, uh, how to use in source call fire, as per the business requirement only, I can handle SQL. Okay. Yeah, according as per according to up to informatical level. Okay. Do you have any you know, uh, like uh, kind of like experience on the Visual Basic and uh, kind of the VBA, uh, where like uh, the small kind of. Uh, uh, macros and all to develop on Excel. Yes, yes. Uh, prior to Informatica, uh, assisted to my manager like uh, in Informatica while working on Informatica, assisting my manager to generate some reports and all uh, by automating VBA by using VBA macros and all. And mostly in, uh, helped in uh, Power BI dashboards. Yes, I have idea on VBA macros also, but currently. Uh, I did not have, did not work on that. 
if required yeah. i can handle it's not an okay. issue for me okay. yeah. so etl here like which script do you use to develop the mapping and all what mentioned so what uh, script we use there the uh, you are asking about the background uh, which um, which script it was uh, developed right informatica was developed you are asking no no not not for that like uh, as you mentioned like the after gathering the information you going to do the mapping you mentioned right so mapping in the sense you mean to say like writing the queries and uh, kind of that logic you are applying or like what is that mapping you meant here yeah uh, they provided some uh, f- uh, source details through like tables oracle tables or sometimes files uh, file that uh, dat files txt files csv files we have to work on that as per the business logic okay. uh, business logic we have to apply some logics and we have to get the output into the target and okay. the they the reporting team will work on that uh, targeted data which we okay. generated that files tables and all okay. yeah so reporting team okay what you mean to say is like here the mapping in the sense that you are going to add the logic right for example like uh, there is one report to will be get stored in the system and uh, based on the requirement you are going to write the logic to generate the output for reporting team yes am i correct in saying yes. okay so for this logic what you are going to write to what is the code you use there like is it like uh, just uh, only the sql query you use or like any other like kind of like Uh, C query or like Java query or dot net query you write uh, to generate the output. No, mostly related to SQL query in expression transformation and uh, ah, mostly use the expression transformation to write some any small coding uh, small uh, functions to like to get the date set max property uh, t- uh, minimum max property just uh, I like, related to little bit related to SQL only. but small differences yeah. yeah we can same like sql but it varies with small sim, 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 small differences yeah okay so uh, other than like sql have you worked on any other uh, language in writing the script or something other like than uh, creating the stored procedure or something like that Yes, stored procedure uh, procedure are used in SQL. We have to create stored procedure in SQL. We can call that uh, in mappings. We can call that. We can call that table, or or else we can call the stored procedure function in the mappings when it requires. Okay. So, other than that, like the uh, hotels, like uh, kind of like uh, because like the reason why I'm asking this is just want. to understand other than the sql like you have uh, worked on any other uh, uh, coding language where you had used for uh, one of your project uh, uh, both projects are involved with uh, oracle sql only oracle data warehouse okay. and sql uh, okay other than means you are ask you are trying to get like asking like related to iacs or metalian Uh, any yeah. kind of see like uh, I'll just give a background of like what we expecting like what is the need here is like kind of uh, uh, writing at least like the kind of the visual basic query or like uh, any of one language where like translating the uh, report into the required output like it needs to be generating the output uh, using one of the query or like for example the small excel or if you can say uh, we will be having the consolidated file. So writing the code need to get the information what I wanted. Like for example, the management might want to see some point of uh, dashboard for that. Like uh, they want to see how many employees are there and what is the number of uh, days due they have taken. Example I'm giving you. So in that case, like writing a code to generate those output into the separate sheet or separate file. so these like uh, for that like might be like kind of writing it on visual basic or like any of the language like this is just an example of the excel file and also like uh, when it comes to the uh, applications we might like kind of like uh, having a little bit of uh, experience on writing using like one of our uh, uh, script actually like little bit if you know the vba coding and all then that will be helpful actually like uh, generating those reports actually so, i did yeah Mm-hmm. Yep, I did ahead. this in uh, Excel 
by using excel macros vba mac visual basic macros i created few macros to consolidate the data like uh, monthly data to consolidate into one single sheet uh, like january data february data into one single ending sheet which i used macro uh, uh, to by using vba scripted scripting code i i created and i used it but uh, in informatica i did not use uh, informatica level yeah and uh, part of uh, excel excel i i did that but related to informatica i did not uh, write any code on informatica like in expression transformation or regret transformation mostly we use there like router transformation and update strategy we will write some uh, little bit conditions uh, we can write but i did not use this type of visual macros and all in informatica but if it is required i think i can handle because i have idea okay. on visual basic perfect great that's what uh, expecting and uh, okay. actually why i interested in informatica means previously in btech days i am little bit uh, strong in excel uh, that if we look up h look up uh, and all a little bit interested in excel that's why even though i am from mechanical yeah. background a little bit the handling with data i am i, I it seems like interested so uh, later on once uh, someone suggested to informatica and it it will be good scope mm-hmm. for uh, cloud technology and all so after completion of okay. my btech i am i learned this informatica uh, like okay so, yeah so oh, exactly like what kind of uh, this thing you are expecting like the role like kind of like uh, what kind of projects more interested in handling i handled two projects one is related to banking data warehouse and concentrics i handle in cognizant i handle related to uh, healthcare data warehouse like it's related to insurance company so uh, a project doesn't matters to me i can easily adopt whatever environment you provided to me it's okay i can learn and i can adaptable adapt it to the technology uh, whatever you want within that weeks so um, i uh, currently i'm working on uh, power center developer side designing designing mappings and uh, putting the data required data into targets as per the business logics currently what i'm doing Okay. uh i am okay with that uh, if it is related to anything related to informatica i can adopt it okay perfect uh, so my colleague abhishek also is there uh hey hi yeah hi abhishek yeah so yes pawan yeah. no uh, pawan is actually covering almost all the requirement that that we are uh, need in our um, apex okay so okay. pavan uh, yeah. you can carry on correct yeah. so that's what like mentioned like this will be like mainly like kind of the projects and all what we handle as mentioned like it is more of uh, writing uh, scripts and uh, uh, interacting with the multiple teams to get the required information and uh, translating that with uh, our logic what supposed to be and getting the required output so here the majority of the role will be to interact with multiple stakeholders whether it might be like internal here or might be like with the onshore people and uh, writing it on the our etl to like for the script uh, especially most of the scripts will be kind of our uh, you can say like uh, even though it looks like vb or otnet kind of that script and uh, mainly with the uh, handling the logic what they wanted uh, to get the output yeah and uh, yeah so this is the major of the job role will be where uh, uh, maximum time will go on uh, just writing on the scripts and all with that like we will be having other the good thing with our complete team here is like around uh, 30 plus people are there and they have end to end like all kind of uh, projects we handle here like uh, so from power bi to normal tools and everything we handle here so internal uh, getting chance to get trained on the some new applications and uh, those chances will be here more due to the kind of uh, centralized automation team which sits in bangalore and pune so that is the thing so you have any questions on that like 
Oh no, I have I didn't have any questions, but you are telling that uh, if I got selected, I think I have to work on little bit different scenario from current because currently I am working on yeah uh, some SQL related queries I'm handling, but I I can manage that macros macros part also related to Excel side, but in Excel macros and all I did not write on Informatica so. Uh, I, I think uh, in, uh, one two days any training will provided yeah. I can okay I'm okay with that perfect no problem so here like uh, not necessarily has to be on a uh, VBA macro as well there should be some language where we can uh, translate the logic into creating the output required output that can be used using a VBA code or might be from the Java or like uh, see any one of the language you can use and uh, convert that yeah yes yeah. so i'm good at uh, analytical skills like i'm um, little bit good at analytical analytical skills from that my academics like from uh, studies like i got almost 10th 10, 10th also 99 per 99 marks in, in like almost all 90 good in uh, analytical skills so applying logic okay. and all it's not an issue. yeah not an issue for me okay, okay. so currently you're in hometown right so in so any plans of coming to Bangalore or like uh... it's currently working working from uh, Vishakhapatnam but uh, Bangalore location only I'm working to so they are also okay. calling come to Bangalore oh, uh, okay. yeah next year yeah okay, okay. so let me like uh, as uh, mentioned uh, so we'll just do one thing like might be like if Rikoi can uh, uh, take some time and uh, if you can brush up little bit more on the uh, coding part and uh, so I'll just uh, keep uh, I'll just uh, cross check about this government uh, thing and uh, then uh, the reason as I mentioned like if uh, the majority of the things here will be like of uh, more of like writing the scripts and all so that's uh, like even the SQL part will be there like it which will be very minimum compared to other side of the requirement what we looking for but however the as you mentioned like you will be like uh, uh, learn fast in getting the things uh, uh, ready for the required one so yes. I will just uh, check in and might be I'll give you an update like by tomorrow sure I will so uh, there will be like a, yeah hmm, it's perfect and uh, yeah Abhishek like uh, if I think it, it got disconnected actually so if you have any questions uh, we can yeah yeah no problem that only my question I like related okay. to, yeah. so what is the current uh, CTC and uh, will be the expected uh, yeah currently I'm getting 5.14 LPA uh looking for 10 lpa like okay yeah to settle down solidly okay. what for looking any no, for not looking yeah, yeah. to any other offers just for looking for some solid offer yeah, yeah to stick to okay. a few so what is the yeah mm -hmm. so what is the notice period here uh, like the... currently i'm serving notice period uh okay. december 25th i can be available if december i didn't 25th, yeah right. Yeah, already, yeah. Okay. So, you, how comfortable you are with the uh, SQL if you look into like 1 to 10 watt rate uh, rating, mm -hmm. you can say? SQL is like huge awesome type, but uh, I can manage up to 8 points out of 10. Because it related to any data science, data science side little bit huge, uh, so so yeah, that's yeah. why I detected that two points. But I can good in, good at okay. up to eighty percent. Perfect. So one more last question. I see on your resume it mentioned it as ETL developer. So here like uh, development work is like kind of uh, other right now exactly like uh, right now what all uh, tools you are using and uh, what is yeah, that uh, informatica tool only i use informatica tool oracle data database and sql sql so in, in informatica 
I developed the mappings according to business logics like source, source qualifier, by taking any transformation as per the requirement like expression transformation. In expression transformation, we can able to write the logic and we can able to, yeah. Okay. According okay. to that, we can okay. load the data into targets. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. The if you have any questions, we can take it. Uh, right. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Abhishek, do you have anything? Uh, no, only one thing that on ETL you worked upon, correct? So, have you a, have you a referred any external process to run? or external script that has been incorporated in ETL tool and then you can use that external process or external script to uh, de to achieve your desired output or you work yes. on yeah. in house yeah yes yes by by using uh, unix cell scripting we can achieve same uh, like by using unix commands unix cell script and like yeah as you said like by using vbo so macro you yes, yes. Aware of it, uh, about how to use external scripts in ETL tool, how to incorporate, or how to adjust, how to recall those procedures. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You are aware of it, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. Great. So, just to summarize this, uh, like, uh, like I'll give an exactly background about the team, what uh, we do, and all, and after that, like, if you feel like you uh, okay with that particular role and also more than that like you feel confident on the requirement is like uh, feel it's uh, more or less is going to match your uh, current experience then uh, we take it forward so yeah so that as uh, like uh, especially in our team right now role what we go trying to hire is like to handle uh, one of the thing will be kind of the uh, automations whatever we receive from the uh, multiple stakeholders that might be on excel the one of the smallest thing will be on excel small uh, macros or macro when i say it's not the recording macro where we need to write the vpa code to get That's that uh, required output and second will be where we do a lot of automations on the trade processing so here uh, on related to the trade processing on daily basis we need to like automate the uh, new funds what we have to move into the new application where uh, the script will be like more of like a, it's a dot net or vb code what we use there to write uh, so these are the major activities will be there with that uh, having a conversation with the stakeholder as well it's uh, internal or might be with the vendor as well sometimes uh, so this is the role so how comfortable you feel on this particular role and uh, yeah i can handle up to uh, vba visual basic code like related to macros but i didn't have idea on dot net uh, but i can handle up to macro level uh, okay. like visual basic code writing uh, yeah, because i used that to create few mm -hmm. macros yeah as Correct. you said we can't record all the macros we have to write some Correct. code Correct. Yeah, visual basic in the visual basic we have to write that in that panel we have to write the code and we, we can create the macros we can automate okay. daily we can automate okay great uh, so i'll keep you updated by tomorrow like uh, on this yeah sure yeah yeah i will wait for okay that. yeah thank you so much for your time and uh, have a great time Thank you, Pawan. Thank you, Abila. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah.